Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. On the last episode we unfortunately found out that Angie had been murdered within her own research lab and well, we started our investigation. And right now we got to investigate the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. However, I do want to check in on that middle room because um, five of the guys um, are trying to do a seance to contact Angie and... Well... I don't know, I just got bad feelings. Bad feelings all around, and I just wanted to do this very quickly. So we can check up on them. If I remember correctly, the Goldleaf Katana is from... Right here. But this also looks suspicious. Anyway, might as well check this first. It's just a sheaf. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheaf. Okay. Mackie, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Well, we confirmed our suspicions, at least. Oh, hey, Kokichi. Oh, what are you guys doing here? You. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need from the seance, so I came back to get it. Huh? Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep, the white sheet over there. Oh, you mean the folded cloth? We brought the wooden dog statue and the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study. Um... So, uh, uh, let's see. Kokichi took a look around and... I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Hmm. Let's see, what does it say about the Cage Child's seance? Cage Dog Child Seance. <laughs> anyway, no one's going to get that reference. Anyone know the game Dog Child? I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who knows that's a thing that exists. Anyway, Kokichi flipped through the old book and he put up the uh, blah, blah, blah. words. Oh, this is the page. It's hard to read, but I can see the cage child is mentioned here. Yeah. Yeah, Kyo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Okay, let's see. In order to perform the cage child. You need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly. Just like Kyo said. First, draw a magic circle passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with the white sheet. And finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um... The dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. When the preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to complete the darkness. To create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing in a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage child song. And after the son ask, is the cage child, and then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says! That's a lot of steps. That sounds... complicated. But... Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo has been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. He was pretty gun ho about the thing. Looked like he had a... Um... Mangasm when he found that book, so to say, uh, to say the least. Right? Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. 
That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without it. But is that even possible? Contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? huh? Well, yeah. You should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. But, whether you believe or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking! All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you! Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one! Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, then left the room. Hmm... I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe it's the fact that the room is going to be completely pitch dark black. Or maybe it's the fact that... I, I don't know, there's so many people in one room. I don't know! It just doesn't feel right. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's not going to... Yeah, okay, it's to be formed in the middle room. I need to check these other rooms at some point. Well, this is certainly very satanic looking. Just have a pentagram and we're all set. So, Kukichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. <laughs> you are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh, oh man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Me? Why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. Ho oh, ho, oh, I know that taste and feeling. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why you? D don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? <laughs> That's why we're apologizing! Do not mock me! No one's apologized yet. Fine, fine, our bad. Uh, just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at uh, us. Wh why would I do that? Stop, it. stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> but fine, but I won't forgive this betrayal, Shuichi. What? Why me? What did I do? Yeah, exactly. So, then. so now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do not enter the magic circle that I have drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped on. Um, you drew this magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, in it's dark in here, so be sure to watch where you step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. uh, got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the cage child son memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copied the words to the son down here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Huh? Oh, we have to memorize the lyrics now? Oh. You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here is the melody. I listened to Kyo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. Alright, I think I've got it now. <laughs> Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay! We finally get to see Angie! So then. Uh, before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would be it would work best with a girl. Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me, but Angie's spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. 
Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Nah. Yeah. That's right. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Please. Tenko. By the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> You'll feel better when you do. <laughs> well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. Damn it! And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> You're probably right. It seems like the two of them made up. That's good. So then... Just be careful, Tenko. So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Yes! Alright, Himiko. I'll see you later. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps, since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Guys, uh, can we can we re really rethink this? I don't like where this is going. Like, r not one bit. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Piece of cake. I have five star flexibility. So then. Oh, the bad feeling in the pit of my stomach is back. Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place the iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully as to not disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. I shouldn't have lied. Am I too weak for this kind of stuff? It's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! Yes! Kokichi, please don't say stuff like that. Please. <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? Uh, yeah. I shall take that role. Alright, everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Jesus Christ, that is way bigger than I thought it was. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. <sighs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. Oh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay, I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. 
Man, there are a lot of things being pointed out here, which once again is making me very nervous. So then... This is the point of no return. Tenko, after this point you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it! Understood! I will not say a word until the seance is over! Okay everyone, I'll see you guys after the seance! Well, uh, you better be right. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your cho choosing. We each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. Guess I'll do the same. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall clock back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Kyo led us all in the cage child son. Young guard dog and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage At mountain's bottom within the darkness At last, at last, at long last We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? He began calling. Now if the medium answers. Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? What's going on? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um... Maybe it failed! Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Well... J just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candle. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. The, that shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? 
Is Angie not coming? Is that ten still Tenko in there? Guys. T Tenko? I see, yeah. Ah, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> <laughs> she follows orders well, but how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. Yeah, seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Guys. Wait, there's a board moved. Move this statue, move this statue right now! Just like setting up, Pio instructed us how to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything exactly in the order Kyo directed. Now, now I will remove the sheet. Kyo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Perhaps. Uh, something is amiss. <laughs> Himiko ran toward the cage at a sprint. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... <laughs> Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up and... Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monofanny's dream puke predicting this tragedy. I don't even care that was Ron. Ah. Oh, the puke's color is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. Uh, everyone, please assemble in the seance room. God damn it, I knew, I fucking knew! The second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. What? T Tenko, S seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? T Tenko, Gonta so sorry. Gonta no could protect you. Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, I, I don't know. What's happening? What on earth? I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Uh, um, I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? Huh? If so. What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? Well, we need to find them both at the class trial. That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Yeah? Huh? What, what would happen? Uh, Monadam, what would happen? Um, well, what would happen? Not that. Why, would, why do you look lost to Monadam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I, I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. Oh man, they're all disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father! The father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No way! 
Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us! Right now, the pressure of an amazing adventure. Uh, it's all our fault that Daddy ended up like that! Yeah. Huh? It's all your fault, Mana Fanny! Daddy. Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own! Ah. We gotta use the power of love! That ought to snap him back to normal! That that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand that because you've never been in love before, Monodam. Or been loved, even. Daddy. Daddy, I love you, so please come back. Go back to normal. Father. I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Aw, oh, you're making me blush. Here I am! I'm back to save the day! Were you good while I was away? Thank you so much, my adorable darling cubs! With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation! Why is he licking his own doll? No, no. Also, Monofanny, you should, uh. Yeah. Uh, don't think about it too much. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. To Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it! The secret is to just leave whenever you get permission or not! Um. Huh? Wait, so... Who's this Baldy then? Yeah. Oh, just a part-timer I got to cover me while I was gone. Hey. Here's your pay. Like we agreed on, now take it and get out of here! Why? Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed! Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what are you guys talking about again? Yeah. Oh, that's right, what happens when you vote if there are two blackened candidates? I well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. Huh? First come, first served? Hey, um... The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other, In other words, if the blackened who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blackened. Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file, so do your best to investigate this murder too! Father! Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that Father's running things again. Leaders gotta be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Yeah. Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. Ah, oh, there's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. As for as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. He just left us behind. He was while he was saying he would never let us go. That's why he's so amazing. Please lick me more, Daddy! That's a sound bite that's gonna bite me in the ass later in the future. I still have no idea what your goal in all of this is, Monodam. Um, so to make sense of all that... Listen closely. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. But we don't even know if there is a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True, we should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, things are heating up! I'm getting so excited! Piece of shit! Yeah, you fucking psycho! Shuichi! Shuichi! This is bad. Huh? Hmm? 
This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help right now. So, this is where you need to step up. Listen, up. listen, listen Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Uh, okay. Y yeah. All right. All right. Then let's check the Monokuma file first. The victim is Tenko Chap Chapashira, the ultimate Akito master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Hmm. A stab wound on her- oh wait, wrong voice. A stab wound on her neck, the same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. Doesn't look like a coincidence, maybe it's Angie's curse! C curse Jeez. Oh, God, not again. C -c 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 curse Hey What? Curse? Kaido, calm down. No way there's a curse. Don't screw around. You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? A dull sound reverberated through the room. Damn. She has, uh, quite the fists on... on that small body of hers. Are you okay? K Kaito, are you okay? My bad. M my bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna get some fresh air, so... I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. Kaito left the room, still a bit wobbly. Um... Um, should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True, we haven't the time to mourn Tenko's death, as our lives are at risk. This is... That's true, but Henji and then Tenko... <laughs> and to think earlier I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Tango's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. Damn it! Ugh, this one frustrates me the most because this is the one I saw coming off a what mile away. <sighs> Whatever, what's done's been done. Nothing left to do but hope she's in a better place. At least she was able to console with him ago before it happened. It's too dark in here. We can't investigate, even if we wanted to. Got it. Don't to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? No. No, that won't be necessary. Ah. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? huh? Why? Listen up. Show them, Kibo. Show them your new power. New power. installed a new function in Kibo. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Oh, man. man, what a lame function. You should have made him, like, a transformer or something. That would have actually been kind of cool. But, for right now, this is useful. It's okay. <sighs> but it's bright now, so we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Kibo's flashlight function. Hmm. Interesting that was added to truth bullets. Hmm. Well, guys. 
Looks like we have to do investigating once again. For another death of a potential friend and classmate. And we will do that on the next episode of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. If you like this episode, well, you know the rest. See you guys then.